Hello and welcome once again to Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis. Yeah! And what do you call 30 lobsters in a pot? A boil rumble. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that was a good one. All right. Well, we got plenty more dad jokes where that came from on this fantastic fatherly episode. So let's go to the board now and check out the categories you'll be quizzed on. Starting with Big Daddies, followed by Hall of Fame Dads, Father Son Duos, Deadbeat Dads, and last but certainly not least, our first ever return category. Who's your daddy? And what does he do? Now, obviously, a happy Father's Day weekend goes out to all you proud papas out there. <laughs> and if this is your first time playing, well, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a seasoned vet, welcome back. Here are the not so extreme rules on your screen so you know exactly how to play this interactive play along trivia competition where you're the contestant. And now, without further ado, let's kick off the 200 point round. Name this, Big Daddy. And of course, the correct answer is Big Daddy Cool himself, Diesel. <laughs> Which brings us to Hall of Fame Dads for 200. At the 2007 WWE Hall of Fame ceremony, these two sons of the American dream, Dusty Rhodes, inducted him into the Hall of Fame. The correct answer, who is Cody Rhodes and Dustin Rhodes? Moving on to father-son duos. At WWE No Mercy 2005, Cowboy Bob and Randy Orton forged a formidable father and son duo and battled this wrestler in a handicap casket match. And that would be The Undertaker. We're on to deadbeat dads for 200. You might be a deadbeat dad when you're such a drunk that your son Tyler becomes a follower of your bitter ECW rival, Raven. And the correct answer is the Saiyan Man. And this of course is a storyline. I'm not necessarily saying this about Jim Fullington, the man. So don't get all your panties in a bunch and uh... <gasps> And let's close out the 200 point round with Who's Your Daddy? Name this wrestler's daddy. That right there is Bron Breaker, whose daddy is the dog face gremlin Rick Steiner. And let's kick off the 400 point round. Name this Big Daddy. And that would be Nelson Frazier, a.k.a. Big Daddy V. We're on to Hall of Fame Dads for four. Before introducing Rikishi at the 2015 WWE Hall of Fame, Jimmy and Jay Uso gave a special shout-out to this famous body part of their popses that helped put the twins through college. And the correct answer is his buttocks. His butt, his gluteus maximus, his ass, whatever you want to call it. Moving on to father and son duos for four. In a final attempt to put an end to D-Generation X, Shane and Mr. McMahon recruited this giant wrestler for a three-on-two handicap Hell in a Cell match at WWE Unforgiven 2006. And the answer we're looking for, well, it's the big show. Brings us to deadbeat dads for four. You might be a deadbeat dad when instead of siding with your daughter Charlotte in her feud with Lacey Evans, you decide not just to back the sassy Southern Belle, but also impregnate her. Now, truth be told, the WWE never exactly clarified and said that the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, slipped one past the goalie. The story just kind of 
went away when she got pregnant in real life. So correct answer is, who is Nate? Ric Flair. Who else can walk that aisle night after night? Woo! And let's close out the 400 point rounds with Who's your daddy? <laughs> ah, yes, the Daily Double is here. Think about how much you want to wager in the category is Who's your daddy? All right, time is up. Name this wrestler's daddy. And that is NXT superstar Lexis King, who also goes by the name Brian Pillman Jr. The correct answer, who is Flying Brian Pillman? All right, 10 clues down, 15 to go, plus final Jeopardy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy notification icon bell so you always get notified whenever we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, which is every weekend. Marks! And let's kick off the 600 point round. Name this Big Daddy. This gentleman's name is Shirley Crabtree, who also goes by the simple name of Big Daddy. Which brings us to Hall of Fame Dads for 600. A true testament why this WWE Hall of Famer was number one with a bullet was the fact that his sons, Brad, Brian, and Scott, were on hand to abduct him in 2011. Number one with a bullet, the correct answer is bullet, Bob Armstrong. Moving on to father-son duos for six, this patriarch of the legendary Von Erich family returned to the squared circle and joined forces with sons Kevin and Mike to battle the fabulous Freebirds at the 1984 Memorial Parade of Champions. And the answer we're looking for, who is Fritz Von Erich? We're on to Deadbeat Dads for 600. You might be a deadbeat dad if, while your son is locked in Bob Backlund's cross-faced chicken wing during Survivor Series 1994, you'd rather see Brett in agony instead of throwing in the towel to end the match. Brett's mom, Helen, had to wrestle the towel away from her hubby, Stu, and then throw it in and basically say that Brett gave up and he lost the title to Bob Backlund, but the correct answer is, who is Stu Hart? And let's finish off the 600 point round. Who is this wrestler's daddy? Another NXT superstar, that right there is Charlie Dempsey, whose real life father is William Regal. All right, 15 questions down, 10 to go, kicking off the 800 point round. Name this Big Daddy. Back in the day when King Kong Bundy actually had hair, he went by the name Big Daddy Bundy. We're on to Hall of Fame Dads for 800. The 1995 WWF Hall of Fame event featured this Polish American wrestler being the first ever father inducted into the Hall of Fame when his son Scott did the honors. And the answer here, none other than Polish power, Ivan Putski. Go, ja cię kocham. More than you'll ever know. Moving on, father-son duos for 800. A young Dustin Rhodes teamed up with his father, Dusty, in a tag team bout against the Million Dollar Man and Virgil at this 1991 WWF pay-per-view. And the answer here, what is the Royal Rumble? Not the Boyle Rumble. <laughs> Who wrote these jokes? Brings us to Deadbeat Dads for eight. 
You might be a deadbeat dad if you chose to marry your daughter Tori's arch-rival, Dawn Marie. Who could forget about the one and only Al Wilson? And finishing off the 800-point round with Who's Your Daddy? Name this wrestler's daddy. That is Ava Rain, whose father is The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And we've reached the most difficult round of the Jeopardy game, the 1,000 point round. The steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music begins to play. Get your thinking caps on and let's kick things off going back to Big Daddies. Who is this Big Daddy? Previously known as Sir Oliver Humperdinck and even the Big Kahuna, when he was the manager of the fabulous Freebirds in the early 90s WCW, he was called Big Daddy Dink. Which brings us to Hall of Fame dads. In 2014, Carlos Colon, the owner of this Puerto Rican wrestling promotion, was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame by his sons Carlito and Primo and nephew Epico. And the answer we're looking for, what is the World Wrestling Council, or WWC? Moving on to father and son duos. This father-son team of Minnesotans battled AWA stalwarts like the Road Warriors, as well as another father-son duo, Vern and Greg Gagne. And the correct answer is, who is Larry the Axe Hennig and his son, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Hennig? We're on to deadbeat dads for a thousand. This former TNA and Impact Wrestling manager sent a carnival of killers like Havoc, Black Rain, Relic, and Judas Macias after his son, Abyss. And the answer, none other than the sinister minister himself, Father James Mitchell. And the final clue of the 1,000 point round, name this wrestler's daddy. That is NXT superstar Ariana Grace whose father is none other than Santino Morella. All right, start tallying up your scores because it's time for Final Jeopardy where you can bet it all and make your papa proud. Oh yeah! So let's find out what this episode's Final Jeopardy clue is. Wrestling betrayals. Betrayals are fairly common in wrestling. Some happen from out of nowhere, while others fans easily saw coming. All right, so think about how well you know wrestling betrayals and place your wager. All right, time is up. Here is the final Jeopardy clue. At the 2009 Royal Rumble, Matt Hardy turned on his brother Jeff, attacking him with a chair and causing the charismatic enigma to lose his WWE Championship to this superstar. Good luck. At the 2009 Royal Rumble, Matt Hardy turned on his brother Jeff, attacking him with a chair and causing the charismatic enigma to lose his WWE Championship to this superstar. The fact that Matt Hardy was helping a huge rival of his was so surprising, with this entire storyline catching people off guard because the correct answer, who is the rated R superstar? Edge. 
And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.